So we've got here a Google Doc. This is for a, a template for an assignment that I'm going to use in a science class. And what I've done with this template is I've added some comments to some of the text. So the title here has got a comment, the introduction has got a comment, and so on. Throughout the document you can add as many comments as you like and you can also include hyperlinks in those comments. We've also got a Google Slides presentation. So I've added a comment to this box in the subtitle to add their name. We've got a comment on this slide as well. And we've got two comments on this slide. So in my Google Classroom assignment, I'm going to create a new assignment. I'll call that one Science Project. And then I'm going to attach the two documents that I've created as templates. So I've got my Science Project, let's add that one. And we're going to make sure that we make a copy for each student. I'm then going to also add the Google Slides presentation. So that's a project evidence. I'm going to add that one in there. And again, we're going to make sure that, that we're going to make a copy for each student. We're going to click Assign. And then Google Classroom will create a copy of each of those template documents for each of the students. Now in this example, we've only got three students. But we can go into this project and we can see our three students there. And for each of those three students, we have our template documents. However, the comments that we created in those documents, they don't get copied over when the templates are copied for the students. So we've lost those comments at the moment. So the solution for that is this extension, class comments for classroom. I open up the extension, click get started. This is gonna ask you for permission to access your account. So I'm going to allow that extension to access my account. And it's asking me to be able to view and manage the files in my Google Drive. So that means that it can create the comments in the documents. It's going to have to edit those documents. It's also asking to be able to view my Google Classroom classes and also to view the coursework for those classes. So I click on Allow. It then scans my classroom and shows me a list of my different classes. So I'm working in the science class. It then scans that science class and shows me the available assignments that I have in that science class. So we're working on the science project. And then within that science project, it's going to scan then for any attachments that it can use. So we found two attachments here. We've got one doc, which was science project, and we've got one slides presentation, which is project evidence. Each of those has four comments. Now we can click on the button here to open the assignment in Classroom which is already open in the background here. And we can open each of those documents in a new tab if we wish. I'm going to click on Copy Comments now. And what that's doing is it's going through each of the attachments, going through each copy for each student we've got of those attachments. And then for each individual comment, it's going to copy that into the new copies. And there we have eight comments in total copied to every copy of that document. So we can check there by going back to our assignment. We've got Dina here, their copy. We can open that up. Previously, the comments weren't available. And now we can see that those comments have been applied to this document. And again, on the slides presentation, we can see that those comments have also been applied. One on that slide, one on this slide, and two on this slide. So you can easily choose a different class if you've got assignments in different classes that you need to copy comments for. And if you create a new class, you can always just refresh that list of classes and it will pull in the most recent list for you to choose from. Enjoy!